Hello everybody, this is Russ Bucher from Control My Joystick. Let's take a look at the digital joystick feature of Control My Joystick. Basically what that means is that in a game, uh, maybe like Age of Empires or uh, Civilization, you know, kind of a top-down looking one where you may be using your keyboard to scroll to the left, scroll to the right, scroll up, scroll down, also known as a WASD scroller because a lot of people use the WAS and D keys to help them scroll around on the map. You can use your DXWare Space Mouse controller or your joystick to send those keystrokes over to the game uh, through Control My Joystick. So you basically can use your joystick as a digital joystick instead of an analog joystick. So let's see how we'd set that up. Now, first of all, in Control My Joystick, we have a tutorial on how to set this up called uh, Tutorial 9 WSD Digital Joystick. If you look at the notes here, it gives some information about it. And you'll notice that it doesn't have any macros. It doesn't need any macros because we're going to be configuring the device curves to send the keystrokes for us. And if we look over here under input in DXWare, and you can also do this on a regular joystick under HID, you could see that there's some axes here that have already been configured. So if I wanted to use the RX and RY axis to help me uh, control the movement, uh, the scrolling around in the game, what I can do here is just go to the RX axis. And R axis, when I move the controller, uh, up and down. And the RY axis is when I move from left to right. Now you can see I have disabled some axes here because I don't need them. And let's take a look at the RY axis. That's uh, to the left and right. So that would be the equivalent of the A and the D key. Now you don't have to use those keys. You can use any keys on the keyboard that you like. But we'll use the W, A, S, and D as an example. And as you can see here, I've widened this out a little bit so you can see a bit more information about the axis. It's set digital. And here's the keystrokes. When the axis goes negative, which means to the left, it'll send this, like an A, with a down. And to the right, it'll be a D and down. So if I double click here, you can see that I've just set up my curve so it has a bit of a dead zone. Enable the digital joystick emulation. And I typed in this square bracket A underscore DN uh, square bracket. And this one is D of the same kind of format. But basically it tells Control My Joystick, hold down the A key. And here it says hold down the D key. You may think that, well, there should be a corresponding A up. But Control My Joystick will automatically enter that and uh, send that to the driver when the control returns back to central position or goes in the other direction. So let's give this a try. Now set up Notepad to receive the keystrokes. I'm just going to uh, select the notepad that has the asterisk on it here. There we go. And I'll bring up the editor again. Okay, and I'm going to press leftwards on my controller. And there it gives me the A's. Now this is equivalent to you physically pressing the A key down on your physical keyboard. I'll just keep on holding it. Now I'll try it to the right. Now we get the D's. So now back to the left, to the right, this sends the A's and D's needed to allow us to scroll from left to right. You can see I have uh, some W's in here, uh, which is also up because I'm tweaking the RX axis as I do this. Let's look at the other axis. So for our X, we're going to use the S, 
down and W down. So that's left and right. Here's down. And here's up. Move this up a little ways. And it's going to clear out to notepad. When you configure these keystrokes, you can just send it a single keystroke. So you can't go like shift D S down. This has to be a single keystroke. Now you'll see an edit button here and all that does is bring up the text editor. Now you can enter it in here if you like. So if you ever forget exactly what the uh, format is here that's down, what you can do is just go find your key. Double click and then press down and it'll enclose your letter that you selected here uh, with the brackets, the underscore and the DN. But normally I just type it in if I remember it. That is how you set up the scroller. Now it could be that you want to set your digital joystick to work slightly differently. It is possible to set it up that movement along a joystick will launch a macro instead. So what we'll do is I'm just going to show you this other tutorial, tutorial 16. And what this does is it will monitor an axis, let's say here on the DX where, and you could do this for joystick as well, except here it looks a little differently. For the RX axis, it has this trigger async and trigger async. This one has trigger sync. And you need to basically type these in. What this means is that, and I'm going to look at this trigger sync one first. If you look over here, we have some macros. Well, this is the RY axis, which are these two right here. And this is the negative column here. So uh, if we look at this, the trigger is if we move the controller in the RY negative, which is over here, then to run the script. Now this script can have a whole bunch of things in it. You could send text, maybe control other devices, do what you want. It's not sending a single character like the di digital joystick emulation that we looked at earlier. It does a whole bunch of stuff. You're basically using your joystick as a switch to activate the script or, or to run a macro. But when you do that, it's important to know whether you want to run it one at a time or many at a time. Because let's say you had a lengthy macro, maybe it output a bunch of text over five or 10 seconds to a document. Do you really want it to, when you move the joystick, just run once and then wait till that execution is done before running it again? Or do you want it to run every time you move the joystick? Which means that uh, you, know, you could wind up with a whole bunch of jumbled keystrokes going to the document. Well, that's what the trigger async and the trigger sync is for. Trigger sync means that it's only going to run once until, and then it won't run again until it is, the previous one is done running. So this is really the normal way you do it. So you just type in trigger sync here and trigger sync. On this one, we have a trigger async. So that means every time it detects that the, uh, the joystick has moved along this axis, it is going to run this. So normally you would use trigger sync, but we just wanted to show you both. If you use trigger async, it has to be an extremely small, very short script. So that's it. That's how you set up a digital joystick emulation in Control My Joystick. 
Have fun.